Rendering an HTML template in Golang is done in two steps. First, parsing the file using the template parse files function, to which we need to pass the path to the file, say UI HTML profile page HTML, which is this file right here. Now, this returns a template and an error. Errors happen when the file doesn't exist, or the file exists but cannot be read due to insufficient permissions, or the template inside the file has a syntax error. In any case, if we do have an error, we can return an error response with the error message and the 500 status code. Now, once we've parsed the file, we can move on to the second step, which is writing the content to the response body. We do that by calling template execute, to which we pass the response writer and any dynamic data we want to use in the template. For example, say we create a new profile struct where first name is Constantine and second name is my non-English hard to spell second name. We can pass the profile as the second argument and we'll be able to access all of its fields inside the template. Now this is Golang, so execute also returns an error. Errors here happen mostly when the data we pass in doesn't match what we have in the template. In any case, we can check the error, print it out, and we can also choose to write it in the response. If I open the terminal and run go run main.go, go in the browser to localhost 8000, we get an error saying can't evaluate field last name in type main profile. That's because if we go to our template, we have a typo. This field doesn't exist on the profile data we pass to the template. If I correct this, restart, go in the browser and refresh, the error goes away and our template is fully rendered. Finally, if you are using VS Code, make sure that the correct package is imported. Sometimes the auto-import feature imports the text template package instead of the HTML template package. Both packages provide the same interface, they offer the same collection of functions, so the difference will be hard to notice. But it's very, very important because the HTML template package automatically escapes data so that the resulting HTML is safe against cross-site scripting attacks. So once again, to render a template, we parse the HTML file we want to render. If we have an error, we return a 500. Otherwise, we move on to writing the HTML content, where if we encounter any error, we print it out and also write it to the response. And that's how you render an HTML template in Golang. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye!